Hello friends, welcome to Max Academy. Hope that you are well by the grace of Almighty. Today we want to discuss about a differential equation solution technique. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Here I have taken a differential equation where it is written solve x sine y divided by x minus y cos y divided by x dx plus x cos y divided by x dy is equals to 0. We have to solve this differential equation. Before going to the solution technique, we have to justify what type of differential equation is this. To justify this differential equation type, first of all, we have to write down it. Here I am writing solution x sin y divided by x y cos y divided by x dx plus x cos y divided by x dy is equals to 0. After that we have to write down the format of the differential equation here I am writing dy okay x cos y divided by x dy is equals to minus x sin y divided by x minus y cos y divided by x dx this side was the left side i have shifted it from the left side to the right side and that's why there, there is a change minus sign here it was it was uh, positive and now it is negative after that we can write down dy and here dx by using the cross multiplication technique so now minus x sine y divided by x minus y cos y divided by x and this is this here the multiplication and if we want to shift this um, term to the right side it will be the term of the denominator x cos y divided by x now this is the format whatever format it this is like d d x of y is equals to m x y n x y this is a system of linear equation if the individual terms of this system of differential equation is same then we will say this is homogeneous differential equation here the first term the power of the variable is 1 here y's power is 1 x power is 1 and here y power is 1 y power is 1 x power is 1 so there is a same power same power here also 1 y1 this is 1 so every individual terms present here containing the same power and that's why this is homogeneous differential equation to solve this homogeneous differential equation we have to let dependent variable is equals to another arbitrary variable into the independent variable here the independent variable is x we are letting okay i am putting this is equation number one and then let y is equals to vx from this expression we need to find out this term d dx of y that's why we have to differentiate this term by x so i am writing d d x of y is equals to d dx of vx and then since there is two terms we need to use uv formula so d dx of y is equals to v d dx of x plus x d dx of v here d d x of y is equals to v this is 1 and that's why v into 1 is equals to v plus x d d x of v and now it is calculated d d x of y after that we need to put this value in replacement of this one and the value that we have let in replacement of y so we can write down from from 1 from 1 
after putting the value of y is equals to vx and the value of uh, d dx of y will get this line and then v plus x dv dx is equals to it will be minus x sin this x and this x cancel sin v vx cos this x and this x cancel cos v and since there is a minus that is the subtraction then this sign that is this minus will be plus and then x cos this x this x cancel cos v actually v plus x dv dx is equals to we can write um, x v cos v minus sin v divided by x cos b this x and this x is cancel after this line we can write down x d d x of v is equals to v cos v minus sin v divided by cos v minus this v and now we can say the cos v is our LCM. After that, we can write V cos V minus sin V minus V into cos V. And this cos V cos V, this cos V cos V is cancelled. Now, we can write down from this line x dV dx is equals to minus sin v divided by cos v and here x dv dx is equals to minus tan v so by using cross multiplication technique we can write down um, dv divided by tan v is equals to minus dx divided by x here if we look very clearly then it is um, clear to us that this is variable separated because of there is only the terms are v is present and there is only x so we have to integrate now i am writing here now integrating both sides integrating both sides so it will be 1 divided by tan v dv is equals to minus 1 divided by x dx and since here cut v dv because of 1 divided by tan is equals to cut here v is present so cut v minus 1 divided by x dx now we know the formula of integration cut v dv is equals to ln sin v is equals to minus ln x plus ln c since this is infinite integration so we have to write a integrating constant after the calculations and then we can write down the new line ln sin y divided by x because of this is our late variable that's why we have to put the value of v here y divided by x is the value of v and then minus ln if we take uh, ln is a common term then we can write down c divided by x now cancel ln from both the side here sine y divided by x is equals to c divided by x this is our solution of the given differential equation if you like my video then please subscribe my channel and share it to your friends thank you very much press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update